<laughs> I live, eat, breathe, sleep. I have every album. I love them. Was a good friend of mine. <laughs> you realize they have so many hit songs. Like, you keep bringing them back these memories. It's great. A band before my time, but I still know about them. <laughs> Mama told me not to come. Loud, she said, I did she say? That ain't the way to heaven, son. Mama told me not to come. Well, I've never been to Spain. But I kind of like the music. I mean, that was a great era to grow up in, 60s and 70s, which we did, and it's just fun to go back and hear those kind of songs. It, it brings back a lot of great memories. You already know the song. I love Blue Dog Follow the sounds of the symphony to a new moment in history. Come with us to the Renaissance Center near Nashville for a live performance with the Tennessee Symphony for the return of legendary rock group Three Dog Night. A lot of our songs have very different chord structures from one song to the other, and I think that really makes for great symphonic music. I think we always loved melody, harmonies, uh, and it's, it's a wonderful package, expanding that, that kind of chord structure. I didn't think we realized how beautiful it could sound, you know, especially when the strings come in and they play over the stuff. I mean, it just, I was, I was just in awe of how beautiful the melodies were. What we're going to do is we're going to take you back to the 1970s, let you reminisce a little bit with a little added. Here's Danny Hutton. He's going to do this song for you. It's one of my favorites. It goes like this. Thank you, Mr. Wells, for that.
Wash away my trouble, wash away my pain When the rain is on the line Wash away my soul, wash away my shame certain songs that really lend itself to uh, symphony music I mean because it's just uh, uh, like one you know or, or those it really adds to it an old-fashioned love song and those kind of songs that really add to it and then when you take that a step further and like in Liar uh, that Danny does and it, it, gives, it gives it the power underneath yeah. it. When we did Liar uh, Danny and I talked about this and he wanted to said can you do some of that you know boom, 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 you know kind of like that that, uh, that war thing, you know, from the planets, you know, Holst, you know, and I said, yeah, I think that'll work really good. So I put an intro on that that is very reminiscent of Mars uh, from Gustav Holst, the planets, you know, taking the elements. I always, you know, take the elements of the song, use the same harmonic progressions and, and uh, you, know, uh, you know, using the information from the song Liar, but stylistically, trying to achieve, you know, an orchestral sound that's reminiscent of, you know, another orchestral style, and then blend the two.
come broken home. He loves coming and hide your hunger. He loves coming and hide your hunger. I wanted to make a comment about the symphony music in our music, and I, I think the marriage is good because of today's, uh, we're talking about the young people and the cutbacks and all the things that are going on in schools where music is being cut back and not a lot of people want to go into the classics or go into the arts or go into, young people are not, they're losing people. The classic music are losing people because everybody wants to be a rock and roller. I mean, maybe that's just a sign of times, but uh, the point is, I think, by us doing this, it shows a lot of young people that that can still happen. You can still do that. You can still be part of music, current music, and yet still have that background and still be part of the classics. Thank you. 
number since the number one uh.
and all groups go, you have your ups and your downs. And we went through a lot of downs after the heydays of Three Dog Night. And there were a lot of things that really uh, cut into the creativity end of our music. I, I, for me, emotional stuff that happened. And you can't work and you can't create if you're under tremendous uh, distress and, uh, and emotional baggage that, that you carry around. And uh, only in the last couple of years we were able to release ourselves from a lot of that yeah. stuff. We stopped fighting. Yeah. <laughs> we're um, like brothers. I was we trying to say that <laughs> nicely, Dan. And you... <laughs> but we, yeah. Yeah. So, and, and, uh, and so that, that has caused us to get closer and to start cooperating and, and you know, finding music yeah. again. It's fun again. It's, and it, it's works. it works. It works. <laughs> Souls are crazy question asking me This is the craziest party that could ever be Don't turn on the lights cause I don't wanna see no Smell a stale perfume and a cigarette just smoking off the skin and get the dip. Open up the window, sucker, let me kick, 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 catch my breath. I'm a
I don't think we, you know, Corey ever said to me, well, let's, you know, let's go out and find a kind of a thing with a country feel to it. I mean, he, we yeah. just looked and heard songs and said, that's a good song. Yeah. And we weren't really a political band. A lot, there was a, that was a big thing. The war was on and all of that. And we kind of, we really just thought about music more than than that. Maybe a little environmental. I got my I got my shot in it because I was an environmentalist yeah. out in the country. But I kind of like the music See the ladies on the same day Yet they show no one who use it They don't abuse 
confusion that we're gonna do can be fusing. Oh no, well I never been to England, but I kind of like to be done. Well I hear that for those figures, oh they made it out to me. Yeah, it's a if song, you don't have the song, 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 there's there's a million great musicians and singers out there, and if they're not singing a good song, it, there's some overproduced, wonderfully produced stuff, and if the song isn't there, right? Those writers back then, no one had ever heard of. Well, they did, but I mean, not not the masses knew who Laura Nero was, or who Randy Newman was, or who Nielsen was, or any of those people that had written and. Um, or Elton John is one, for example. We did uh, one of his very first songs that was sent to us. This was before he ever had your song or anything. Danny, actually, when we went to London, Elton came to see us and he gave us that record for Danny to do. And, uh, and Danny had, was recording. We were halfway done with it when he released it in the States yeah. and, uh, and had that success with it. So those were unknown writers. and. Uh, Today we're doing the same thing. We're finding unknown writers right now, and we're yeah, we're, yeah. We're, I think hopefully, we're hopefully we'll, they'll, we'll bring them to the forefront too someday. Who knows?
she may be weary Young girls they do get weary Wearing the same old, same old dirty funky dress Ooh, wow, she gets weary won't you try one dress of tenderness? Oh, yeah. No, she's the waiting. And she's so beating. For the things she'll never, 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 never possess. Ooh, wow, she's weary. Won't you try for transcend tenderness?
Thank you very much. Carl Thank West. you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you so much. I think Michael is probably the most underrated uh, rock guitar player in, in the world. I, probably one of the, the finest rhythm uh, guitar players. I'm speaking my opinion. Uh, and a very, very good uh, lead guitar player. Uh, he's a guy that in the studio can just throw out hooks all night. Sometimes we have to work on where to put them. But uh, he's not, uh, I call these young guitar players, these uh, speed spaghetti guitar players that, can, uh, that are so fast, but uh, I don't think that it's the old Ray Charles expression, learn when not to play. The guy is, is, is wonderful. I, I agree about Michael on that too. And, and but Jimmy is a, just a phenomenal individual. I've never met anybody like him. Not only does he have a photographic memory that can remember every, every detail, detail from 35 years ago, but he is a talent that in his, what he's capable of doing musically, um, he gets bored quickly. And he's another one of those people that, and he has not, I don't think he's even explored his potential, what he pot, what he could and can do uh, on keyboards. And uh, sometimes he needs a little prodding and I think he needs to be pushed a little bit, but he is one hell of a musician, I'll tell you. I mean, there's no situation you could ever put him in that he could not play, play. or be involved in. He just needs a little medication Yeah. <laughs> calm down. <laughs> It's somebody's dream Build a rock as black as the sea A four-level highways across the land A building a home for the family and man Prices are rising, the devil to pay to be honest. 
he was actually a phenomenal guitar player. Um, and that's what he did for us the first round when he came to us in the 80s. He play, he was the lead guitar player because Michael couldn't do it because of personal problems. And, um, and a fabulous guitar player, which he still does on his own. But uh, we gave him a proposition one day and I called him and I said, Paul, that we'd like to get you back in the band and because he had made noises that he wanted to do that and he said oh, great great I'd love to that's do it that's the good news <laughs> and here's the bad news can you play bass he went whoa I don't know I he said yeah I guess I could and he said that wouldn't be a big thing how long do I have I went two weeks <laughs> So he went, that's a little short order, isn't it? I said, but if you can. So he had to like learn 15 songs in two weeks. Not only learn those songs, but had to learn how to play bass and learn those songs at the same time. Yeah, and, and a great singer. Pat Bouts, an incredible time, uh, timekeeper. He's, that guy is a metronome. He's a, the drummers we've had usually always, once in a while, somebody's gonna slow down and speed up this guy. He starts a, a record somewhere or, or on stage and it stays there. And he's got a great fun personality too. Yeah. He's up, up. But cheerful, happy, never down yeah. and never. Strange humor. Yeah. <laughs> Living away, sitting on a pillow, waiting for night to fall. Girl in a dream, sitting on a pillow. This is the night, going to Celebrity Ball. Sadly, isn't it a pity? I didn't find time to go. Ready or not, going to make it to the city. This is the night, going to Celebrity Ball. Just up tonight.
the groups have something you know that's unique to their style and it's trying to pull that out and bring the orchestra to that and combine the two and it, and it usually you know, because of the differences, in, you know, in all the groups, it makes for, you know, you find that one ingredient, like this is unique to them, and, you know, to make that blend with the orchestra and work well. And that's a big challenge for me. And, and I think Three Dog does, you know, uh, with having, you know, the, the lead singers that, that uh, sing harmony and the material lends itself really well to orchestra because, you know, they've had such, such great songs, you know, to work with.